हेलो नमस्कार कैम छो बदा सत्रेकाल आई एम चिंतन महिड़ा असिस्टेंट प्रोफेसर इन इंग्लिश एट श्री एस टी पटेल आर्ट्स एंड सी एम पटेल कॉमर्स कॉलेज आकलाव डिस्ट्रिक्ट आनंद आई एम अ पार्टिसिपेंट ऑफ थर्टींथ ऑनलाइन गुरु दक्षता फैकल्टी इंडक्शन प्रोग्राम ऑर्गेनाइज फ्रॉम इलेवन सप्टेम्बर 2023 to 10th October 2023 by UGC Human Resource Development Center of Gujarat University Ahmedabad I am going to deliver my presentation on understanding role appropriate use and blending of technology in teaching let's start science and technology rapidly transforming the world around us and education is no exception the national education policy 2020 nep focuses the importance of using technology to enhance teaching and learning it advocates many methods like augmented reality virtual reality 3d techniques and other uh e contained technologies to create immersive and engaging learning experience before starting my presentation i wanted to show some exciting and magical things i have created india's first vr 3d lecture and students are enjoying immersive learning larger than life experience in vr devices and here is a press note okay that's why i have selected this topic second if you scan this about image with android app named as chintan ar classroom just pause the video and scan this image okay i will come in your room out of screen means i will be out holographically and this is called ar technology i can go to any students home holographically with my 3d avatar so you can see my image in front of you if you use this app this is called ar technology so you can create uh, ar seminar ar workshop okay and uh, you will be visible to anyone's room holographically okay the national education policy uh, recognizes the important role of technology in shaping the future of education it emphasizes integrating technology as a crucial component to enhance learning outcome making education more inclusive accessible and effective the nep envisions technology as the enabler of personalized and adaptive learning aiding in the holistic development of the student covid-19 known as corona pandemic devastated our lives in 2020 2021 and 2022 but it also brought some new changes in every field of life and it is said that necessity is the mother of invention covid made this dictum true teaching in classroom was shifted to microsoft teams google meet and zoom teachers and students have quickly adapted technology of video meet video conferencing for teaching and learning even assessment system shifted from answer sheet to online quiz lms pdf upload thus covid devastated our lives in the past but it also taught us many new things furthermore online video conferencing platform like microsoft teams google meet zoom have been established especially after covid pandemic and in the context of remote and hybrid learning these two 
facilitates seamless communication, collaboration, resource sharing among educators and students, bridging geographical gaps, providing an avenue for interactive learning experience. However, like any tool, the integration of technology in education comes with its own sets of pros and cons. Let's focus this into this aspect to gain a comprehensive understanding. In this digital age, we have witnessed the emergence of immersive technologies such as augmented reality known as AR and virtual reality known as VR and several e-learning platforms, especially after COVID, like Microsoft Teams, Google Meet, and just recently arrived uh, one of the monster in the field of AI called ChatGPT and Google Bar. So, what is augmented reality? Augmented reality is an interactive experience of a real-world environment where computer-generated perceptual information enhances the real-world experience. It overlays the digital information such as images, videos, 3D models onto our views of the physical world through the device. Augmented reality means AR and virtual reality means VR are the two of the most exciting emerging technologies that have the potential to give next level education to the students. AR overlays digital information onto the real world while VR creates a completely simulated environment. Both technologies can be used to create interactive, engaging learning experience that allow students to explore concepts and ideas in more meaningful way. For example, take a moment, pause this video and please scan this image in the screen and you can find uh, with this application Okay, this is called Chintan AR Classroom. Uh, the application is designed by me. And when you uh, scan this video with your uh, smartphone, you can find out, you will find out my 3D avatar, my holographic avatar. Even though I am not in, a, in your room, I can, I can be visible at your room at a life-size hologram. On the other hand, virtual reality, VR is a simulated experience that can uh, be similar to a completely different from the real world. It immerses the user in a fully digital environment through a head-mounted display and VR headset, creating a sense of presence and interaction within the environment. This innovations offer exciting prospectus in education. AR and VR can provide interactive and engaging immersive learning experience, transporting students into a world where abstract concepts become tangible and real. Imagine student virtually exploring the cosmos, manipulating virtual molecules, or uh, means dissection of a frog without limitation of a traditional classroom. Starting with the advantages of technology, technology enhances engagement and interactivity within the classroom. It caters to diverse learning styles, promoting personalized learning paths and providing immediate feedbacks to students. Moreover, technology offers a vast repository of educational resources and materials, making learning more interactive and dynamic. Collaboration among students is also fostered and preparing them for a collaborative nature of the modern workplace. Technology facilitates 
access to a global pool of knowledge and expertise, breaking down the barriers of our traditional classroom boundaries. It allows the continuous learning, self-paced study and access to a variety of courses and subjects. The NEP 2020 encourages the integration of online courses and e-learning modules to broaden the educational horizons of both students and educators. However, it is essential to approach technology integration with a balanced perspective. Over-reliance on technology can lead to a lack of critical thinking, reduce face-to-face -face interaction, and potential issue of screen time. Digital distraction is also a major concern in e-learning. Not all the students have equal access to technology, creating disparities in learning opportunities. Now let's discuss the appropriate use of and blending of technology in teaching. Effective use of technology involves careful consideration of the learning objectives, the need and abilities of students and the suitability to the technology to the context. Education should use technology to enhance traditional teaching methods, making learning more engaging and effective. Blending technology with the traditional methods allow for a more comprehensive and well-rounded educational experience catering to different learning styles and ability. Conclusion, the role of technology in education is undeniable and it aligns with the goals set by the national education policy when used appropriately and judicially, technology has the power to transform education, making it more inclusive, engaging and effective. However, we must exercise caution and balance in its to ensure that technology serves as an enabler rather than a hindrance to the holistic development of our, of our students. Technology can provide teachers with the tools they need to differentiate instruction and meet need of all learners. For example, a student who are struggling with a particular concept can use educational apps and websites to get extra practice. Technology can help teachers to create engaging and interactive learning experience that motivate students to learn. For example, teacher can use AR and VR to take student on a virtual process or to create a simulation of a real world phenomena. Technology can help teachers to provide students with personalized feedback on their work. For example, teachers can use online learning platform to track students' progress and to provide targeted feedback. The most effective way to use technology in teaching is to blend it with a traditional teaching method. This means using technology to enhance and support instruction rather than replacing it. For example, a teacher might use PowerPoint presentation to introduce a new topic but then lead student in a hands-on activity to help them, uh, you can say, solidify their understanding. Technology can make learning more engaging and interactive. Technology can help teachers to differentiate instruction and meet the needs to all learners. But there are some costs. Technology can be expensive and difficult to maintain. So conclusion, technology is a powerful tool that can be used to enhance teaching and learning. It is important to use technology appropriate and to blend it with traditional teaching method to create the most effective learning environment possible. The NEP 2020 recognizes the important role that the technology can play in education and advocates for its use to make learning more engaging, personalized and accessible. I, Chidan Mehta, thank UGC Human Resource Development Center of Gujarat University Ahmedabad for 
providing me an opportunity to join 13th online guru dakshita faculty induction program bye bye thank you jai hind